Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Jared, and today we're going to be playing the Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer uh, campaign for Gondor. So, as you can see, uh, we're doing very hard difficulty because that is a recommended difficulty, and it's nice to have your, uh, your opponents actually build their cities and whatnot throughout the campaign. And we're doing medium battle difficulty just like my Erebor campaign because I'm still not particularly confident in that aspect of the game. Uh, we're going to manage all cities, we're not going to show CPU moves, and we are, uh, we are, we are having a battle time limit. So, <laughs> well, let's just get started. And that's uh, copyright music, so we're not going to watch that, unfortunately, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I went back and forth about what campaign I was going to do for my second uh, Third Age campaign on my channel. Uh, I really wanted to do Northern Dunedain, but I did a couple of test campaigns with them, and I don't know. It just they're not a very good faction to play as. Because you have to wait like 15 turns just to get one unit usually. And just. I, the, the pace was just awful. But this should be a lot, a lot more fun. Welcome to the Divide and Conquer. Alright, the Kingdom of Gondor. I'm not going to read this all out loud, but. I'll scroll down, you can read it if you would like to. Alright, great. Military report. Okay. Now let's just kick this off. The only thing I do not like about Gondor is you have way too much territory to start out with. This. Like, a lot of this should have been rebel territory, I think. Yeah. Although, if it were rebel territory, the, you'd probably be fighting in ways almost exclusively. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's just way too much to manage for the beginning. I think, anyway. Um, so I tend to sort of consolidate my forces somewhat. I also played around like I usually do with ancillaries and uh, bodyguards and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's just kick this off uh, at Minas Tirith. Uh, we want money immediately, I think. So yeah, high taxes, very high taxes in Minas Tirith. For sure. Uh, Cure Andros. This, this is probably going to end up being a bottleneck. Well, it depends on if, if Mortar takes a uh, Hennethan Noon or not. But. So I'm going to want military here. Decent force. In fact, I should probably build an archer. Uh, Western Osgiliath, that's another of my frontline forces, so I need to not so much focus on economy there. Um, oh yeah, that's one of the guys. Uh, Protect the blood of I, give, I give this guy a unit of Osgiliath veterans. So that should be fun to use. So he's going to be my Osgiliath dude. Um... Gosh, let's just start with a meeting hall. Uh, Hennis and Nguyen. Um, looks like they already have practice range at garrison quarters, that's good. But a meeting hall will probably be smart there too. Alright, so. But this place. I'm thinking probably. Grain exchange. I think it's the biggest bang for my buck at this point. Keep on low taxes. We need to get that population up. 
No, actually, I take that back. That's a town. Keep on normal taxes. Well, this is a village. Keep that on low taxes. And let's see, we got mines. Can we get mines there? No. It's not very good mines, though. Let's see, 4,500 to make it. Uh, 250 per turn. So yeah, let's go for land clearance first. One gallon. Um, that's a large town, so we could actually probably hike up taxes. Yeah, let's just let's get a little bit of population growth, but let's hike up taxes there as much as we can get away with. We have a lot of buildings we want to get through before we need to even bother upgrading this one. And let's get a grain exchange. Calimbell, another town. Keep it on normal, and we'll do a grain exchange. Uh, Ethering, another town. Keep on normal, grain exchange. So, <laughs> lots of grain exchanges. Uh, Tarnost. Um, let's see. Let's go for a land clearance. Vanduiland, grain exchange. And we are pretty much out of money now. And we still haven't even gotten through all of our uh, all of our places. But let's get pillar gear. It's a city on very high taxes. Everyone else, for the time being, stay on normal. And that brings us back to Mister. Okay. <laughs> See, there's a lot of settlements you have to micromanage right off the start. Not the best. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really ready to take Easter on Gaskiliath yet. This place is super easy to hold, as long as you have like territorial guardsmen and a couple of these. Yeah, we'll be fine there. Um, that's all the money. We can't build anything else. Let's move these guys over to yes. Gaskiliath. What did? Well, I mean, we are bordered with a rebel province, so. I don't know. Uh, Kellen had. You're probably fine for now. Protect the blood of Numenor. Let's move his general into that port. Let's upkeep there. Yeah, it's 300 per turn. We are in the profits, which is good. So this guy, he's not really governor Ready or anything. Your weapons. Him into a Let us too. sit up camp here. I think it's it's for the it's better you're better off, I think, for the most part, not having governors. But th there are exceptions where I will have governors, obviously. But Maintain so this guy I gave him kind of a cool Awaiting your bodyguard. Command. Gave him the Herondor mercenaries, because I plan on having him come out come down here to the Herondor area. Take some settlements there, so I thought maybe oh, he should have some. Protect some the of those blood guys. of Numenor. But that means he uh, does not have free upkeep. So actually, should I move command. both these guys in the forts? And Ready this guy, um, Awaiting your move command. him into a fort. He's really, really cool. I gave him the Seaward Lancers, which is a Dole Amroth unit. Um, apparently Tarnost is historically sort of... I don't know. Yeah, even even the... <laughs> it says special units Dor N. Ernel Footmen and Dor N. Ernel Lancers. However, those are not in the game anymore, and they were replaced by the... Uh, whatever these are. The Seaward Lancers are they're, they're called Seaward Lancers instead, but they used to be Dor Air and Nil Lancers. And they used to be, uh, I think, available in Tarnost. So, anyway, uh, here's Derek Warren. He just has a general's bodyguard. Protect the blood of Numenor. Um, does Tarnost have a meeting hall? No. So if I have a meeting hall somewhere, I can get free upkeep. Awaiting your command. He doesn't really need Maintain to be a governor order. either. That's a very safe area, so why don't you make Let your way over to that fort? Here. All right, Kalembel. 
this place. This used to be a village in previous versions of the game. I guess they did away with that. That's fine. Uh, this guy has Blackroot Veil Archers, which are eh, pretty substandard archers, but they have a cool look to them and all that cool stuff. So, Captain of uh, Let's move him out to Kellen Bell. He'll meet up with... Uh, what's his name? Angbor. He, Angbor, then Herluin as well. Actually, you guys. Get that fourth. You have no free upkeep either, but you will. I will make a meeting hall. Probably next priority. Alright. Dinenian. What do you have? Your command. Captain of uh, you have Anfalus Pikeman. Ready your weapons. Alright. Well, just hang tight there for a minute. I do need to get these uh, settlements, but I don't have any money at the moment. But that's okay. A few more turns and I'll be uh, making quite a bit more. So I guess that means... Uh, I guess we're at an end turn. I can move four of your units probably. Out. By your command. And... Let you guys head that way. You, make camp here. you head that way. By your command. We can go no further today. Yeah, we don't need any large garrisons. This is like super safe area, so you guys are getting free upkeep. You guys are not, so you guys can start heading out too. Yes. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. All right, I think we're at end turn now, so let's do that. But yeah, I was I was debating what faction to play as. I really wanted to play as Nor I, either the Northern Dunedain or the Angmar, but my test campaigns did not turn out that well. There are some bad things about this mod as far as like pacing and stuff goes with the campaign. Some factions you have to burn way more turns to get anything done, and some you don't. So. I just thought, all in all, Gondor would probably end up being more fun to watch, at least. <laughs> Ostithil. So we have 15 turns to take Ostithil. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. Awaiting your command. Captain You're not getting free either. Awaiting your command. But that'll save us a lot of money. Okay. Uh, let's see here. How much garrison do we have to have here? Probably okay with... Uh, it'd be good to have... four melee. Yeah, four melee and then the rangers. We'll be getting hit hard by uh, Mordor in this area, so. You guys have free Come and get me, good, good. you coward. Yeah, I'm just, I have so many generals, I don't even know what to do with them all. Uh, we'll eventually have to amass a force and take Eastern Osgiliath because it just is the smart thing to do. My lord. Okay, you make By your way your over command. there, actually. We'll make camp ready your weapons. You. Awaiting your command. Everything except for this archer. Let there. us set up camp here. Just keep the taxes as high as possible. Your will, my lord. Oh, they already took Tirithoros. Interesting. Be gone. I was gonna take them, <laughs> take that settlement, but uh, that's that's fine. Sort of uh, puts a little bit of a wrinkle Protect in my plans, but uh, yeah. 
Huh. Yeah, because I haven't I haven't played Gondor. <laughs> Uh, in this mod yet, so it's interesting. Maintain order. I guess I guess the only thing to do is to really focus on Mordor and uh, expanding this way and up. Come and huh. get me, you coward! Okay, we can do those things. Protect the blood of Numenor. In here. Forward! Over there. Watch for the enemy. Where did my money go? Jeez. Did I build something? I don't know. Well, let's send. Send some more troops over there. As you wish. Get no free upkeep for this crap at all. Why do I have a Citadel Guard? I don't think I, I don't think I'm supposed to have the Citadel Guard. I think I made a mistake there. I must have been testing something out and made those. My bad. I will only address you in battle. Yeah, because I remember I was testing out uh, Denethor's guard because I gave him. Oh, he just had the regular general's bar bodyguard, which I thought was boring, so I gave him the fountain guard, which is way cooler. Protect the blood of Numenor. So you just chill there, Denethor. Now you do get free upkeep because you can train the fountain guard there, which is great. Okay, we are just Main dead out order. of money right now too. It's a little bit unfortunate. Orders. Your will, my okay, lord. You're heading south. By your the, command. These forces. March to Not that it even matters at this point. <laughs> well, I could take uh, northern Mirland, actually. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's a good compromise. Okay. So. Let's end the turn. I'm not going to be too aggressive this campaign, I, but I'm not going to be as defense as I, defensive as I was with uh, my with my Dwarven campaign. I like slow, methodical pushes through the land, but I am going. I'm I'm going for a total takeover. I'm not going for very specific locations. I'm not going to play that game again. <laughs> Well, it looks like Mordor is going you. to take that settlement, which is a little bit scary. I think we'll be okay, but definitely need to bolster our defenses there. Oh yeah, we're fine for defense there. Uh, we do not have any money, do we? Awaiting your command. Let us sit up camp. Get over there. Orders. Yes. As you wish. Maintain order. Keep the meeting up. Your will, my lord. Yes. Build some stuff here. No, I can't. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Can I build anything here? No, I can't. Oh crap. Maybe I should have gone for those meeting halls after all. That's okay. No problem. Okay. So you're gonna join Ready in on this weapons. too, then. So I think. Be gone. I think we're good. We're good Captain to, to head out. Maintain order. Awaiting your command. He doesn't have movement Protect points. Protect the blood of Numenor. I don't know. Whatever. All right. I think. Awaiting your command. See, I, I'm not very good at multitasking. There's like too many things going on.
like too much map to deal with, basically. It's okay. Protect the blood of Numenor. You guys, none of you are getting free upkeep, so you might as well start heading over. Well, yeah. this evil. Let us set up camp here. I'm sure, we could probably take that. Ready your weapons. Especially if you take uh, your Luin with you. Captain of Gondor, protect the blood of Numenor. Protect Awaiting your command. Yeah, that'll be a good Captain little force. Order. Go take Kirith E. Hour. However you pronounce that. I will only address yeah. you. We've got some in rebels, battle. but you know I don't like dealing with the rebels. It feels pointless. <laughs> I mean, it's not pointless, Ready obviously. My lord, it's never been something I've really enjoyed that much. Approaching quietly, All right. I shall continue. To How are you guys doing? It would be nice if you could start building. All right, this end turn, our grand exchanges are coming in, so we should be making a little more money. Yep, that's gonna be a running Show theme yourself. this campaign is being attacked there. Yeah, we're making quite a bit more money. Awaiting your command. And more free upkeep. That's wonderful. Alright, now you guys can head out. Ready your weapons. Let's head for that fort for now. So I have some family members. The Stuart Denethor became a drill master. Very nice. Okay. By your Some more defenses there. Yeah, that's uh, a <laughs> dangerous amount of orcs. Protect the mercs. blood of Numenor. Ready your weapons. No Awaiting your command. We can build some stuff though. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's just go that. Can I hold out with that many? I mean, really good archer, two New Yorker archers. Uh, Osgiliath has, has never been my favorite map to play on, that's my problem. There's, there's maps that I enjoy immensely more than Osgiliath. <laughs> Especially the ruined Osgiliath. Awaiting your command. Here, Lewin. Assail the enemies Let's head over of there. Let That's us pretty cool. We have an archer general, we have an awesome infantry general, and we have an awesome uh, cav general. Should work out real well in our favor. Alright, so let's buy something. No. We're going to need reinforcements at some point, so let's get a meeting hall here. And there goes our money. We're not making that much next turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright, end turn. I should start, uh, I should get a diplomat going too. Hopefully I remember. Alright, Grolg. Standard work bodyguard. Should be able to take you out. No sweat. I think I think this battle map has changed for this version of the game. I haven't seen it yet, but I, th I think I remember something about that. Get started deployment. Yeah, it looks a little bit... Yeah, well, they, they took out the gate, that's right. Okay, so... How do I usually like to do this? Come 
on now. Move out. Move out. Just stack Move. infantry. And then uh just fire around this corner here. I think I want my general right Forward. behind. Forward. Let's see what's a good little hill here you can stand on. Like right there. Forward. Onward. You can Onward. move a little bit after the battle starts. Get these guys firing over there. Forward. Yeah, that'd be really nice. And these guys firing over there. Yeah, we're going to eat them for breakfast. Yep. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see if there is, unless there's a better hill I can set up on. Uh, I don't think so. This will be okay. Alright. So you guys... Sort of... So fill in all the gaps as best you can. Alright. Faramir, you stand right there. I like that. Be watchful. You guys. There. The enemy could be near. Probably good actually where you are at right now. Guess you can get good good shot from like right here. Well, you have a pretty good shot here actually. Forward! Alright, speed it up. How's my formation looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think we're going to be able to break through there. Keep a lookout! Could be near. Rangers. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all walls? will be lost. <laughs> Steady now. Keep it down. Keep all it right. Down. I think they're probably in range now. Fire at will. Fire at will. Oh, don't fire at will. Fire at the orcs. <laughs> Terrible joke. Oh, good. Right, the bodyguard. That's what I like to see. The bodyguard looks a little different. I can't really tell, but I don't know. Bodyguard maybe looks a little bit different. Ah, Good luck, orcs. Good luck. Why can I not target the big guy? Just more running guard. Oh crap. Ah! Ah, my keyboard got all messed up. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes my keyboard just sort of like flips out on me. It's really random. Especially when I play this game. Now we're getting some really good kills. Oh crap. They're archers, man. Alright, you two. Stop. 
I will like you now fire well. Are they making their way up? Damn it. Run, run, run. Close that gap. shooting that hey. you guys not a very good shot anymore do you yeah. let's get you up on this there how's your how's your shot Arcing shot too. Damn it. Just get back a little bit. You guys still have an awesome shot. Right, you guys get off the defensive and just a little bit aggressive push into them. The enemy force remains. We're losing a hell of a lot of men because we don't have any armor. Huge amount of our kills, I think, are from uh, more from our uh, archers than anything. Should bolster the men's confidence a little bit with our general. Our foe has taken control of the castle. Are you serious? Get out of there, you jackasses. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Head up there. Take our center. Come on, guys. We just have to kill their general and we should be okay. Try getting those archers a little bit. Has lost control of the castle. The Faramir's forces will regenerate, so I don't care that much if he loses some. He has a lot of hit, hit points too, so he should be fine. This is this is a lot harder than uh, it should be. Come on. Our men are exhausted, but our morale is still good. They're starting to break. Oh, thank God.
We've captured the enemy's general! The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down! Now we're looking at catching, but we can probably get some more with the uh, archer fires. Good enough. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Oh dear! <laughs> this is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Well, we killed. Four, we kill about 1,500, and we lost uh, about 250. Really not bad. Especially since I just, you know, recruited some last-second militia just to bolster us a little bit. Uh, we actually got some Territorial Guardsmen back, but we did lose significantly more than we are getting healed. Our Rangers did awesome. But actually, the Gondor militia got the most kills. It's very interesting. Huh. Well, good job, everyone. That was a hard fought victory. But Northern Athelion remains in Gondor's hands. Watch for the enemy. Uh, it's a general. I hope they. I kind of want to keep my, my reputation good. Ah. That's that's just fine with me. <laughs> making very much money at all. Faramir, Mordor's Banner, or dear, a Boar Hunter. What the hell's a Boar Hunter? An old and experienced hunter accompanies this general. Once an expert in their craft, they become an advisor to the upper classes to aid them in hunting and scouting the land and organizing hunts to keep the populace happy. Huh. Cool, I, I guess. Stick you. Uh, let's see. Uh, might as well. Train what we can. Looks like we can't uh, build any more yet, but. Great! I wonder if I should send any more forces that way. That was a hard victory, but. What we really need is armor, actually. Why can't I, I don't see any armor places here? Not the armory. I don't know. Whatever. God, we're not doing that good for money at all. Awaiting your command. We shall remember this day. Oh, they might. These guys Our just might have to expanded. stick around for one turn. Yeah. I guess. That upkeep is over well over a thousand. So I could build a couple more buildings next turn. Oh wow, they're about to attack me. Okay. Have a taste of my blade! I think we can take that horse. I'm gonna stick you! Why are they saying how, how the hell do they even have Uruks this early on? That's just crazy to me. Like I know this is real, this is very hard blade. difficulty, but they shouldn't have pre barracks event units, should they? I'm confused. Okay, so over here, protect the blood of Numenor. Over this element. Well, this evil. Get there soon. 
Let us set up camp here. Come and get me, you coward. I will only address you in battle. Captain of Gondor. Awaiting your command. What if I do an auto resolve? Slay them! Retreat! Okay. Probably not my uh, the brightest idea I've ever had, but. Okay. Is there anything else I can do? Maintain order! You have high taxes. Do you have any free upkeep? No. Oh, I should have got the meeting halls instead of grain exchanges. That was stupid of me. Stupid, Captain stupid. Captain of Gondor. All right. All we can do is end a turn. Too many settlements. Way too many. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Suitable husband for Ivorwin. No, I do not need another general right now. Thank you very much. Good lord. Have a taste of my blade! Oh man. I hope I shouldn't send uh, Denethor over. Let's help with the defenses there. Come and get me. Yeah, I'm not coward. sure. I am not too sure. Protect the blood of Numenor. Okay, so I can actually build some stuff now. Good. And that said stuff should probably be meeting halls, I would say. So you get four free upkeep here, that's actually pretty good. Before there as well. Actually, you know what we really need? I I don't know how to get the. Hmm. You have to have land clearance people to unlock the leather worker, or can I see it here? Maybe. Yeah, it requires land clearance. Okay. Well, it's a lot of money, but I guess, sure, land clearance gets us more money anyway. And. Actually, that'd be smart. As you wait. Sort of cycle out. Troops. Yes. Because they're more likely to attack Hennis and Nguyen than Karandros. I think I'd be better off getting a getting a building though. Um, I, I don't know. Let's yeah, great exchange. Every little bit helps. Wand. That's over here, right? No. I don't. Ready your weapons. All right, so you guys are moving. The enemies of Gondor. Let us set up camp here. We get where the settlement over here is. We should probably Captain go for Gondor. it. I think it's on the coast. Ah. Let us set up camp. Here. <laughs> Ready your weapons. All right, next turn we can start that siege, but we are. We're still making money, Numenor. actually. Probably. Assail the enemies of Gondor. Maintain order. Hmm. I'm gonna stick you. We might need a little extra help. Protect and the blood of Numenor. Boromir might be the man to give it. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And now I could probably retrain.
God, just right off the bat, having terrible money issues. <laughs> Which is weird because usually when I play as Gondor, I feel like I have way too much money. Cowards! Should be able to hold pretty well with Boromir there, Boromir there but uh, yeah, we'll see. If I can take out that army, I can take out Eastern Osgiliath pretty easily. Wait, you're gonna take my fort? It's pretty weak, man. Pretty weak. Who takes a man's fort like that? Okay, so we can ready your weapons. Grab this settlement. Will this evil? Will be very, very helpful. Let us claim this field. We'll probably either be bordered with uh, Isengard or Anaweth at some point. Then. But, uh, Come and get me! Uh, Protect the blood of Numenor. Slay Jared them. Harn. Let us claim this field. It's mostly stuff we can kill, I think. Maintain order. We have a super, super awesome cav guy. We have uh, yeah, the Herondor mercenaries, and we have the Lebanon Marines. So pretty, uh, pretty decent force, I'd say. If I cancel this, maybe I should get. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, meeting hall. That would be. I can get some free upkeep. Keep the taxes high. That's what I'm all about. And I think we're on that turn, so. I don't think I can field too many more than like three or four armies at once because uh, we got this in the bag. I hope <laughs> those Uruks. Though, look at that defense. Yeah, it's it's like it's not even fair that we're getting attacked by. Uh, By uh, post barracks event units. All right, uh, let's. I bet if I did an auto resolve, we'd probably actually win it uh, easier. But Let them have it, man. I'm not quite prepared to lose Boromir in like episode one of this. <laughs> Oh, come on, really? Oh, that sucks. That's weird because it's it crashed, but it still shows. Uh, Still shows me recording uh, the screen. Okay, kill process, and let's get back into it. Okay, good. Looks like it's recording. I have no idea what caused that crash. That was, uh, yeah, that was very unfortunate. A lot of people have said this is the most stable version of this game that's been out so far, but I don't know. I've had I've had a few problems. I have edited some stuff, but I mean, it's like editing a general's bodyguard. That's not something worthy of crashing a game. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Adding some ancillaries, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's like the most basic ads you can do. Alright, so let's try ending that turn again. Hope it doesn't crash, because then this episode will be over prematurely. Alright, 
Don't the bell, let man. them any further. If it crashes again, that means Osgiliath is broken. I'm just gonna have to auto resolve. Units, await my orders. Yeah, seems to be working. Alright, so I think the only way they can get here is across this bridge. I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like they can cross. They used to be able to cross in the water. I kind of remember. Looks like the bridge is where it's at, so. I like that because. Bridge defenses are not too bad. How the hell do you even get over there? No, oh, I can't set my troops there. That's, I hate this battle map, I really, really hate it. <laughs> Okay, um... God, I don't know. Okay, here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Because I don't think they can... I don't think they can go through this. Yeah, they can't. So if we defend... here... Can we, we, yeah, we can even get on this wall. I like that. I like going on walls. Okay. Oh, we can go on this wall too. Oh. Now I really like that. I, I never even knew what. I, I wonder if you've always been able to do this. Huh. So, you can go through, I think it looks like you can go through this, but can you go through through those? I don't know. Alright, well let's not screw around too much longer. Let's, uh, let's get set up. Just get sort of like a loose formation going. So let's see where can we actually oh we can actually we actually can go in this area that's good. But what about here? Can you go through here? Or through here? Through here? No. So you basically you basically can only defend this gate and this gate. But that is very doable, I think. Is there any other walls I can get on? I don't think so. Let's get here, let's get the uh, Hurin or whatever his name is on the walls too. Useful. Okay, so Boromir. How about you defend here? Uh, with like two of these? No. It's gonna be very. There we go. Yeah. Guys, yeah, right like that. Yeah. Like that. That that'll work. So, okay, so you guys go there. And in case they go this way, which they very well might, I'll have some guys ready to defend there as well.
Everyone run, everyone be on defensive. Don't tell me they can cross somewhere. I'd much prefer them to go yeah, through this gate on. and ignore this gate, but if they don't, I can send Boromir over quite quickly, I think, and uh, he'll help out. I don't understand where they're exactly going. I could have misjudged the situation with this map some somewhat. If I did, that would suck. Where are you guys passing into? Okay, you're passing into there now. That's good. Looks like you're making your way to the bridge. That's good. This bridge is not usable still, right? No. Yeah, because this... This bridge has always been ornamental, and this bridge has always been functional. I should just probably be defending the bridge, to be honest. I don't know, should I? So I'm sort of like split up here and. Hmm. Poor me can actually get up on there a little bit. Hopefully I don't regret doing this, but bridges are quite nice. Get some good shots on. In fact, I think you could probably actually get a good shot just chilling up here. Everyone run. Actually, in range of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a half bad shot. How about you guys? Archer Battalion is under ready. So Boromir just has to hold the line, which he's very good at doing. He's friggin' four here, so. I feel good about my decision to hold the bridge. I think I would have struggled more if I had. We're under attack! We're under attack! We're getting hammered with arrows, but they are tough. Oh 
actually a little bit surprised by how few archer kills we get. Don't you guys target the archers because they're very annoying. Probably could have just held off with uh, with archers and just Boromir, the 300 Spartans. <laughs> Bridge battles are sort of fun. Let's, see, let's let's try to find Boromir. Oh, there he is. He's just looking looking cool over there. He's like, Get out of my way! I want to join the fight too. Enforcements are coming in. How many are they? I don't know how many they're bringing. Probably quite a few. Cease fire. Fire at will. We're gonna try to push now. But they will not be able to break Boromir. Not sure what the defensive stance uh, ability does, but I'm sure it's not going to hurt. I want to let Boromir get some of the action. Sure, he's fine. <laughs> well, there's the reinforcements coming in, and just epic crap load of brutes. Oh, good lord, we do not have a large amount of arrows left either. Let's speed it up. You guys just go hang out at the town center. You guys maybe get a better shot somewhere else. You can push back a little bit. Alright, time to turn off defensive. Push. through them. So I'm starting to worry a little bit about Boromir's health. Push on through. 
Push, push, push. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. That so violent when you throw on shield balls. Amazing. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like the bodyguard's trying to get away. Don't let him. Shield wall on a bridge can be incredibly devastating. So those Gilead veterans, I think, actually helped quite a bit, too. Keep pushing them. Push them all the way to the other side. They're doing quite well. Considering the horde that was after us. We would have done so much better if we had some effective against our troops too. Turn off shield wall. Get chill while going again. Where's their general's bodyguard? There it is. Target the bodyguard. Speed it up. Two percent killed. Three. Starting the route now. We still haven't killed their general, though. The enemy army flees the field. There Pursue he is. and run them down. Uh, I don't think we <laughs> think we can end it. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Oh Lord! Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. That was a pretty glorious victory. Let's see, Boromir killed 465 men. Very very nice. Good job, Boromir. Only healed 13, but he lost 59. Uh, most of our archer who got killed by arrows or got hurt by arrows uh, healed, so that's very good. Uh, the veterans, oh wow, they they got 379 kills. That's not bad for an archer unit. Not bad at all. Cool. All in all, damn good victory. Uh, this episode's getting pretty long, but I think I will keep going for a little bit more.
kind of want to take a settlement because we haven't taken any settlements yet. Or have we? No. We've just def we've done two def defense battles, but we haven't taken anything. Watch for the enemy. No, we can <laughs> ransom. They are gone from these lands. Come on. <laughs> Nice thing is, uh, we are destroying every Show army yourself. that comes at us in Mordor. I don't know if they started with a bunch of Uruks or not, but they shouldn't be able to make any more after the barracks event. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a pretty crappy force. That force is a little bit more worrisome, though. Okay. I could just auto calc it. But I don't think anyone wants to see me Bring do that, so. <laughs> I just don't feel very satisfied when I um, fight rebels. It's just that something I've never really liked doing. Alright. Start our deployment. Units, await my orders. Don't really know where anyone's coming from. Let's go for the high ground. High ish ground, at least. We have no archers. Units, we have some super heavy cab. Forward. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. All right, so we got people coming in here. This army is that their main army? Yeah. And the crappy force over there that attacked us. I could probably take down with my cavalry, actually. Yeah, there's there's no effective against mount. So. In that case, I think it would probably be in my best interest to set up. Well, it's kind of There's a lot of trees over here. Set up over here ish. Yeah, sure. Why not? These guys. I think it's spread a little bit too thin, actually. So, actually, let's go that. That. Okay, set up. Hopefully they can make it there in time. Oops. You get off of defensive though. Go take out this army. Is all gonna make it in time? Are we up against archers? Bandits. Yeah, some archers. It's okay, though. I'll, I'll swing around with my cavalry and take out those archers, too. Charge the bandits right now. Alright, hurry, hurry, hurry. 
because they are coming. Free epic charge, I'd say. <laughs> Seven percent killed in one charge. I can complain about that. Take out that group now. These guys are better than Swan Knights, I swear. And in fact, Swan Knights were the default. Or not the default, but they were. Um, they were the mercs that were. Uh, not the mercs. They were, they were the general's bodyguard that were supposed to go with this force. That group hit my men. That was not what I intended to have happen. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Hit those. Hit them hard. That group of bandits is done. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Only half good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Archers. It's my main priority now. I'm really glad I brought this cab unit with me, that's for sure. These guys are awesome. Alright. These guys are up against the cell swords, that's not the best matchup. Hit them with your jab. There you go. Just finish off those archers if you can. Yeah. Keep them busy. Alright. You guys with the bandits. Hit the cell swords now. Let's get those bandits. Let's get those bandits. Got a good hit on the cell swords. That was good. Enough of that. Go hit the archers again. God, that cabin is just. This is just an amazing cabin, that's for sure. Alright, stay in the fight there. Badly bloodied. They have lost half Speed their men. Speed up a little bit. 
Why are you guys not fighting? Get those routing bandits if you can. Don't really want them coming back into the fight. Where they're here on the cell swords. Actually, get hit on those south round war bands. They are a spear unit, as long as they don't turn around to fight you. Right, that, that got pretty good. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Not much of a charge, but. Slide for a better charge. Oh, we're losing a lot of infantry. The enemy army flees the field. Right. Pursue and run them down. You guys go for a for a flank. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Continue battle because I don't want them going back into their castle. Oh crap. Yeah, they were really close. To to the line there. I think that's all we can really do. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let that's all not who bad. remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Not too bad. Would have been a lot, a lot different story if I didn't have that cav though. The, the cavalry was uh, pretty epic. <laughs> I see why they took Gondor cavalry out of the general's bodyguards by default for this mod. Though I do miss them sometimes. I'm not a huge uh, cavalry general guy though. I like to have a couple, but I don't have. I don't like the default general to be cavalry. Gondor Much is prefer victorious. infantry. Watch for the enemy. Really? So we're basically gonna have the exact same fight right now, <laughs> just on a slightly salt, smaller scale. Good lord! Well, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Did we end up actually taking... Yeah, Barret Harn, Harn is ours. And uh, we're just going to have to leave this fight for the start of the next episode. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Um, I will probably be... Uh, I think my main priority is still going to be my Dwarven campaign, but... I feel like this would be a good supplement supplementary series, especially once my Dwarven campaign is finished. So uh, expect to see more episodes of this down the line. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, or dislike and don't subscribe if you didn't. <laughs> it's all up to you. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.